In this video, we're going to take a look at installing Node Red on our Raspberry Pi version 4. Node Red is a low code platform which is ideal for people like me who haven't had the time to learn Python, C, or JavaScript or any other programming language. It does all the work in the background for you using Node.js but in a graphical form. So let's start looking at how we install this. If you can remember from our previous video, we used the Raspberry Pi Imager and as part of the setup I recommended enabling the secure shell encryption to allow remote settings. So this is important, you would have set the host name and then under your SSH configuration you would have ticked password authentication and then under here you can see Pi and your password. So during your image uh, creation you would have enabled this and this is important. Now when we come to our Windows PC you can download a, a program called Putty and I'll put the link in the description below and what we need to enable remote configuration is for the uh, Node Red or the Raspberry Pi device target device to be on the same network. So all we need to put in here, I'll close down the imager now, all we need to do is put in the PC name or IP address and now we'll have the terminal. So this, this, this terminal you can run actually on the device itself if you plug the Raspberry Pi into a display with a keyboard um, but this is quite handy because I can do everything from one PC. So this is where we need to remember our login details and, and when we're logged in we'll, we'll get um, uh, this prompt here and we're ready to start installing Node Red. So now we're, we're running the terminal I'll just um, clear the screen. We need to make sure our software packages are, are up to date and there's two commands for doing that. We have um, sudo app update and then sudo app upgrade will, will install all of those upgrades. Um, I'll run through that. This could take um, a while depending on um, the amount of upgrades it, it finds. So I'll be back with you in five minutes. So now we've got our Raspberry Pi up to date, we're ready to install all of the software packages. And this following command I'll put in the, um, the notes. But uh, this will install Node.js. Um, it will also check if you've got an existing version and it will update it to the latest version so it will uninstall and put the latest version on and then it uses a software package called npm and this will then install Node Red and all of the associated um, software packages that are required for the Raspberry Pi so I'll run through this this is the command it's a bit lengthy um, this can take about 20 minutes. We'll start this running now. Um, yes, we want to install it. And what we'll see here, it's, it will go through each one of these. Um, hopefully we'll get a nice little green tick by the side of each one when it's complete. So I'm going to have a coffee and um, I'll see you in about 10 minutes. As you can see here, it's in it's installed Node.js, um, npm, and Node Red. We can see the versions there. There was a little bit of a message where it wants to look at um, my Node Red initialization settings. I'm going to cover that on another video because there's there's some things that I've learned that are, are, are worth enabling now rather than running into problems later on. So to make Node Red a little bit more powerful for instance you can enable options so it will um, sync your project to Bitbucket. So we're going to go through those on another video um, but we're, we're ready to, to run um, and to, to start Node Red um, we simply type in Node hyphen Red. Okay, now if I want to see the Node Red um, software program, I can put a, a screen into my Raspberry Pi and do it that way. But if I'm connected to the same network, then I can type in 
um, the IP address followed by 1880, that's the port that Node-RED runs on. Once I've generated a runtime program on Node-RED, that will be 1883. So on my Windows PC, I've typed in the IP address for Node-RED with my um, IP address or um, name, uh, the main name, and the 1180. Uh, I'm now ready to, to start using Node-RED. I will save um, an overview of Node-RED for another video. Um, but uh, there you have it. We've now got uh, Node-RED and Node.js and NPM installed on our Raspberry Pi. I can run this from the Raspberry Pi, like I said, with a, a, a local screen. So rather than putting in house home, I would just type in local host, colon, 1180. Um, but I'll show you how to update palettes and, and how to build up some basic programs in, in another video. But I hope that was useful. It's a fantastic um, tool for, like I say, for people like myself that have got very little experience with Python or other programming platforms. Uh, thanks for listening. If you like what you see, don't forget to, to, to click on the notifications for future videos. Um, and see you soon. Thanks a lot.